The year is 2045, and Earth has reached a critical juncture in its exploration of the cosmos. Hi all, welcome again to Storytime with Philip. Of international space agencies, led by NASA, ESA, and private companies like SpaceX, Foreman. Unprecedented collaboration known as the Celestial Accord. Together, they conceive an audacious plan, Project Red Horizon, an endeavor to colonize Mars and ensure the survival of humanity beyond the confines of Earth. The project is fueled by a shared vision of creating a second home for humanity, a beacon of resilience and ingenuity in the vastness of space. As Earth faces environmental challenges and an ever-growing population, the need for a sustainable outpost on another celestial body becomes paramount. The scientists and engineers leading Project Red Horizon embark on a meticulous planning phase. They analyze decades of data from Mars rovers and orbiters, selecting the optimal landing sites and charting potential obstacles. The multinational crew is carefully chosen, a diverse group representing the best minds in fields ranging from biology and engineering to psychology and agriculture. Funding for the project is sourced from both public and private sectors, with global support and enthusiasm fueling the mission. Celebrities, scientists, and ordinary citizens alike rally behind the vision, with the hashtag MarsBound trending on every social media platform. As the launch date approaches, the world watches in awe as the spacecraft, named Pioneer One, is prepared for its historic journey. The crew, clad in specially designed pressure suits, undergoes extensive training in simulated Martian environments on Earth. The anticipation is palpable, and the success of Project Red Horizon becomes a symbol of human unity and determination. Finally, the day arrives. A crowd gathers at spaceports around the world to witness the launch. Pioneer One, a marvel of advanced propulsion and life support systems, lifts off with a thunderous roar, leaving Earth's atmosphere behind. The crew, a blend of seasoned astronauts and fresh-faced pioneers, looks back at the blue planet disappearing in the distance, knowing they are bound for a new frontier and the challenges that lie ahead on the red soil of Mars. The void of space envelopes Pioneer One as it embarks on the arduous journey to Mars. The crew settles into a routine of scientific experiments, physical exercises, and routine maintenance. The vastness of space becomes both a mesmerizing spectacle and a constant reminder of the isolation they face. On board, the crew members acclimate to the microgravity environment, relying on advanced life support systems to recycle air and water. The ship's artificial gravity generators mitigate the effects of prolonged weightlessness, ensuring the well-being of the crew during the long voyage. Communication with Earth becomes intermittent as the spacecraft moves farther away. The crew finds solace in their camaraderie, sharing meals and downtime while contemplating the magnitude of their mission. Mission Control, located on Earth, monitors the spacecraft's progress and communicates critical updates and instructions to the crew. As Pioneer One approaches the midpoint of its journey, the crew encounters challenges that test their resolve. A minor technical glitch in the life support system is quickly addressed by the skilled on board. Engineers, showcasing the importance of the crew's diverse skill set. The incident serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between human ingenuity and the unforgiving environment of space. Scientific experiments conducted during the journey contribute valuable data to our understanding of long-term space travel effects on the human body. The crew, equipped with the latest medical technologies, undergoes regular health assessments, ensuring their physical and mental well-being. As Mars looms larger in the viewscreens, a sense of anticipation and excitement permeates Pioneer. 1. The crew prepares for the intricate maneuvers required for the descent to the Martian surface. 
Mission control on Earth coordinates with the onboard navigation systems to ensure a precise landing. The crew members, their faces illuminated by the glow of the control panels, watch as the Martian landscape comes into focus. The red planet, once a distant point of light in the cosmos, now becomes their new frontier. The tense moments of the descent give way to cheers and celebration as pioneer. One touches down on Mars, marking the beginning of humanity's presence on the alien soil they will soon call home. The Martian surface stretches out before the crew of Pioneer One as they take their first steps onto the alien terrain. The airlock hisses open, and the crew members cautiously descend the ladder, their boots making contact with the rust-colored regolith. The historic moment is punctuated by a flurry of Camera flashes, capturing humanity's first footprints on Mars. The crew, led by Commander Aria Rodriguez, surveys the landscape. The vastness is awe-inspiring, and the thin atmosphere provides a surreal view of the distant horizon. The first order of business is to establish the initial base camp, where modular habitats will be assembled to house the crew during their initial exploration phase. As the habitats take shape, the crew members encounter the harsh reality of Martian living. The thin atmosphere, composed mostly of carbon dioxide, prompts the crew to wear specialized suits. Whenever they venture outside, the challenge of working in the lower gravity becomes apparent as tools and equipment behave differently than they did on Earth. The absence of a magnetic field on Mars poses another challenge. The crew must find innovative ways to protect their equipment and electronic systems from the harmful effects of solar and cosmic radiation. Engineers collaborate to develop shielding technologies that will safeguard not only the equipment but also the health of the colonizers. With each passing soul, a Martian day, the crew discovers the harshness of the Martian environment. Dust storms, although less frequent than initially anticipated, pose a threat to solar panels and visibility. The crew adapts by implementing automated weather monitoring systems and reinforcing critical infrastructure against the abrasive dust particles. Scientific instruments are deployed to analyze the Martian soil and atmosphere. The crew collects Samples to better understand the composition and potential resources available for future colonization efforts. The findings fuel optimism and reveal the challenges ahead, guiding the next steps in the ambitious plan to make Mars habitable. As Pioneer One's crew grapples with the realities of life on Mars, a strong sense of purpose binds them together. They confront challenges head-on, their determination unwavering. The Red Horizon Team is on the precipice of a new era, where every obstacle becomes an opportunity to pioneer solutions and, in doing so, carve out a future for humanity on the Red Planet. The crew of Pioneer One, having established the initial base camp on Mars, turns their attention to the monumental task of terraforming the deliberate modification of the Martian environment to make it more Earth-like. This phase of Project Red Horizon is a testament to human ingenuity and determination to reshape an entire planet. At the heart of the terraforming effort is the deployment of colossal solar mirrors. These mirrors, designed to capture and focus sunlight, are strategically positioned in orbit around Mars. The concentrated solar energy is directed towards the polar ice caps, initiating a controlled melting process that releases large amounts of carbon dioxide trapped in the ice. As the polar ice caps diminish, the liberated carbon dioxide begins to thicken Mars's thin atmosphere. The greenhouse effect takes hold, gradually raising surface temperatures. The crew monitors the atmospheric changes, adjusting the solar mirrors to maintain a delicate balance that mirrors Earth's conditions as closely as possible. The once barren landscape begins to transform. A trickle of liquid water appears on the surface, forming small rivulets that cut through the Martian soil. The crew, 
clad in their specialized suits, witnesses the birth of Martian rivers. With the introduction of liquid water, the dream of sustaining. Life on Mars moves closer to reality. Greenhouse gases, carefully managed to prevent runaway heating, create pockets of warmth across. The Martian surface. The crew plants specially engineered vegetation designed to thrive in the evolving atmosphere. These hardy plants not only contribute to the terraforming effort but also serve as pioneers in establishing the first Martian ecosystems. Mars, once characterized by a desolate red landscape, now shows hints of green as vegetation takes root. The crew experiences the profound satisfaction of witnessing the transformation of a once dash hostile environment into a more habitable one. The pioneering spirit that brought them to Mars fuels their commitment to shaping its future. While the process is slow and meticulous, the terraforming efforts prove successful in making incremental changes to the Martian climate. The crew, now planetary engineers as much as explorers, stands on the precipice of a new era, where the red planet is not just a destination but a potential second home for humanity. With the initial success of the terraforming technologies, the crew of Pioneer One sets their sights on a vital resource for sustaining life on Mars water. Advanced robotic explorers, equipped with drilling and analysis tools, are dispatched to scour the Martian terrain in search of subsurface ice deposits. The robots navigate the rugged landscape, analyzing the composition of the Martian soil and utilizing ground-penetrating radar to identify potential ice reservoirs beneath the surface. The crew monitors the progress from the base camp, eagerly awaiting the first signs of success. After weeks of exploration, one of the robotic explorers strikes a proverbial gold mine of vast underground reservoir of water ice. The discovery is a momentous occasion, as water is essential for supporting human life, agriculture, and future terraforming efforts. The crew celebrates the milestone, acknowledging the significance of this find for the sustainability of their Martian colony. The extraction of water from the subsurface reservoir becomes the next engineering challenge. The crew deploys robotic drilling rigs capable of boring into the Martian regolith to access the ice below. As the drills penetrate the surface, a steady stream of water begins to flow, collected and stored in specially designed tanks. The water extraction process is not without its challenges. The crew faces technical issues, including freezing mechanisms and potential contamination of the water supply. However, with perseverance and ingenuity, these challenges are overcome, and the Martian base camp becomes self-sufficient in terms of water supply. The success of the water extraction mission propels the crew into the next phase of colonization. Plans for expanding the base camp and constructing additional habitats gain momentum. Greenhouses, utilizing the newfound water source, flourish with crops carefully selected for their nutritional value and adaptability to the Martian environment. The crew, now pioneers of Martian resource utilization, reflects on the journey so far. The once dash, distant dream of making Mars habitable is becoming a tangible reality. The abundant water reserves serve as a foundation for the growing colony, fueling hope for the continued success of Project Red. Horizon As the Martian landscape transforms, the crew prepares for the challenges and triumphs that lie ahead on their journey to establish a sustainable human presence on the Red Planet. With water secured and the promise of future terraforming, the crew of Pioneer One shifts their focus to the construction of the first permanent habitats on Mars. Armed with 3D printing technology and modular building designs, the pioneers begin assembling the foundations of the Martian city, which they affectionately name New Olympus. The crew deploys large-scale 3D printers that utilize Martian regolith as a building material. The printers work tirelessly, layer by layer, 
constructing interconnected structures that will serve as living quarters, research facilities, and essential infrastructure. The buildings are designed to withstand the unique challenges of the Martian environment, from temperature extremes to potential dust storms. The base camp, which initially served as a temporary outpost, evolves into the central hub of new Olympus. The crew members, now planetary architects and construction experts, work collaboratively to ensure the stability and functionality of the emerging city. As the first structures take shape, sense of permanence settles over the Martian landscape. The habitats are equipped with advanced life support systems, recycling air and water to maintain a closed-loop environment. Innovative energy solutions, including solar panels and, eventually, nuclear power, provide the necessary electricity to sustain the growing colony. The crew embraces a sustainable approach, minimizing reliance on resources transported from Earth. Greenhouses expand, cultivating a variety of crops to supplement the crew's diet and contribute to the development of a self-sustaining ecosystem. The pioneers celebrate the first harvest of Martian Dash. Grown produce, marking a crucial milestone in their quest for independence from Earth's resources. New Olympus becomes a beacon of human resilience and adaptability. The structures, with their sleek and futuristic designs, stand as a testament to the collaborative efforts of scientists, engineers, and explorers from around the world. The once barren Martian landscape now bears the marks of human civilization. As the city expands, the crew grapples with the challenges of urban planning on Mars. They Experiment with terraforming technologies on a smaller scale within New Olympus, creating controlled environments that mimic the conditions of a terraformed Martian landscape. The data collected from these experiments contributes to the ongoing efforts to transform the entire planet. The completion of New Olympus marks a pivotal moment in the colonization of Mars. The pioneers, now residents of a burgeoning Martian city, reflect on their journey thus far. The once distant dream of a human outpost on Mars is no longer a dream it is a reality, and the foundations have been laid. For a thriving, sustainable colony on the Red Planet, the crew prepares for the next stage of their Martian Odyssey, where challenges and triumphs await in the ongoing quest to make Mars a second home for humanity. With New Olympus now standing as a testament to human perseverance on the Martian surface, the crew of Pioneer One turns their attention to harnessing the planet's resources for long-term sustainability. A new era begins as Martian regolith, the rocky surface material, becomes a valuable source of minerals and metals. Robotic mining equipment is deployed to extract raw materials from the Martian soil. The crew Pioneers' techniques for processing regolith to obtain essential resources, including iron, aluminum, and silicon. These materials serve as the building blocks for the expansion of New Olympus and the construction of advanced technologies. Innovative technologies emerge, allowing the crew to create alloys and composite materials suitable for the harsh Martian environment. The first Martian manufacturing facilities take shape, producing tools, equipment, and components necessary for ongoing construction and resource utilization. Efforts. The crew experiments with in-situ resource utilization ISRU, techniques, exploring ways to produce fuel, oxygen, and other essential supplies directly from Martian resources. The abundance of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere becomes a valuable resource for fuel production, reducing the reliance on Earth for resupply missions. As the Martian mining and manufacturing operations mature, the crew establishes a network of resource hubs across the planet. These hubs serve as distribution centers, facilitating the transportation of materials between different regions of Mars. The crew pioneers autonomous rovers and drones, equipped with artificial intelligence, to manage the logistics and maximize efficiency. 
Greenhouse operations expand further, utilizing Martian soil enriched with locally sourced nutrients. The colonizers experiment with genetically modified crops, enhancing their ability to thrive in the unique Martian conditions. The success of these experiments brings the dream of fully sustainable agriculture on Mars closer to reality. The Martian colony becomes a living example of humanity's ability to adapt and thrive in challenging environments. The once isolated pioneers are now at the forefront of a new frontier, creating a self-dash. Sustaining ecosystem that relies on the planet's resources rather than constant resupply from Earth. As the crew continues to harness Martian resources, the vision of a truly independent and self-dash. Sufficient human presence on Mars takes root. The efforts of Pioneer 1 pave the way for the next. Stage of Martian colonization, where the colonizers aim to establish not just a temporary outpost but a fully functional and sustainable society on the Red Planet. The challenges ahead are formidable, but the pioneers are driven by a shared vision of transforming Mars into a second home for humanity. With new Olympus flourishing and the Martian colony growing, the crew of Pioneer 1 faces a critical challenge, the generation of a breathable atmosphere. While the terraforming efforts have contributed to a thicker atmosphere on Mars, producing a sufficient amount of oxygen remains a complex task. In the heart of new Olympus, Dedicated research facilities are established to address the oxygen. Dilemma Scientists, engineers, and botanists collaborate on innovative solutions to create a sustainable source of breathable air for the growing Martian population. A pivotal breakthrough comes in the form of genetically modified plants, designed to thrive in the Martian environment while efficiently producing oxygen through photosynthesis. These engineered Plants are cultivated in specialized greenhouse facilities, their growth carefully monitored to optimize oxygen output. The crew introduces a variety of oxygen-producing plants, including specially adapted versions of familiar earth plants and new genetically engineered species. The green spaces within New Olympus become not only aesthetically pleasing but also vital contributors to the Martian atmosphere. As the oxygen-producing plants mature, the crew monitors atmospheric changes and conducts controlled releases to gradually introduce oxygen into the Martian environment. This careful approach prevents sudden imbalances and ensures the safety of the growing population. The success of the oxygen-producing plants marks a significant milestone in the quest to make Mars habitable. The once barren and inhospitable atmosphere begins to transform, and the colonizers experienced the sensation of breathing Martian air for the first time without relying on oxygen masks. The colonists, now accustomed to the challenges of life on Mars, witness the gradual greening of the landscape as plants spread across the city. Parks and recreational areas take on new significance, providing not only spaces for leisure but also serving as vital components in the ongoing effort to balance the Martian atmosphere. As New Olympus becomes a bustling city with its own unique ecosystem, the crew reflects on the journey so far. The oxygen-producing plants stand as living monuments to human ingenuity and the ability to adapt to the challenges of an alien world. With each breath of Martian air, the pioneers Affirm their commitment to transforming Mars into a place where future generations of humans can live and thrive. As New Olympus continues to evolve into a thriving Martian city, the crew of Pioneer 1 faces a persistent threat to human health, radiation. Mars, lacking a thick atmosphere and a protective magnetic field, exposes its surface to higher levels of cosmic and solar radiation than Earth. The Pioneers recognize the need for effective radiation shielding solutions to ensure the long-term well-being of the colonizers. In the heart of the city, a team of engineers and scientists dedicates their efforts to developing innovative shielding technologies. The crew experiments with a variety of materials, from advanced polymers to Martian regolith, 
seeking the most effective and sustainable solutions to protect against. The Harsh Radiation Environment The first line of defense involves constructing shielded habitats with thick walls composed of locally sourced materials. Martian regolith, with its abundance of basaltic rocks, proves to be a valuable resource for creating effective radiation barriers. The crew pioneers construction techniques that integrate regolith into the walls of buildings, providing a natural and reliable shield against cosmic rays. In addition to physical barriers, the crew explores the use of electromagnetic fields as a FORM of radiation protection. They deploy experimental electromagnetic shielding devices that create protective zones within the city, deflecting harmful particles away from inhabited areas. The colonizers also experiment with biotechnological solutions. Genetically modified organisms, engineered to thrive in the Martian environment, are cultivated to produce natural shielding. Compounds These organisms are integrated into green spaces and parks, contributing to both the aesthetics of the city and the overall radiation protection. As the shielding technologies mature, the crew monitors their effectiveness through extensive testing and data collection. The city's infrastructure evolves to incorporate these protective measures. Seamlessly, ensuring that every aspect of New Olympus is designed with the well-being of its inhabitants in mind. The success of the radiation shielding solutions brings a sense of security to the growing Martian population. The once daunting prospect of long-term radiation exposure becomes a manageable challenge, and the pioneers continue their mission with confidence. As New Olympus stands as a testament to human resilience and adaptability, the crew looks to the future, knowing that each solution brings them one step closer to a fully sustainable and thriving Martian society. With each passing soul, New Olympus becomes not just a human outpost on Mars, but a thriving and interconnected ecosystem. The colonizers, once bound by the constraints of life support systems and Artificial habitats, now witness the emergence of sustainable ecosystems that mimic the delicate balance found on Earth. The pioneering efforts of the crew extend beyond the confines of the city as they explore the vast Martian landscape. Controlled ecological experiments are conducted in designated areas, gradually introducing diverse plant and microbial life to the regolith. These experiments aim to establish self-sustaining ecosystems that can contribute to the overall terraforming of the planet. The crew pioneers the concept of biodomes, enclosed habitats where complex ecosystems are cultivated in a controlled environment. These biodomes serve as testing grounds for the introduction of diverse plant and animal species, creating miniature ecosystems that, over time, adapt to the Martian conditions. The introduction of carefully selected organisms contributes to soil enrichment and the creation of microclimates within New Olympus. Bees, genetically modified to withstand the lower gravity and atmospheric conditions, play a crucial role in pollination, enabling the cultivation of a variety of crops. In outdoor environments, the city's green spaces expand, and parks become hubs of biodiversity. Pioneers, now accustomed to the sight of Martian flora, enjoy the beauty of landscapes adorned with native and engineered plant species. The once barren red soil transforms into a palette of colors, signaling the success of the ecological initiatives. The sustainable ecosystems extend underground as well. Colonies of specially engineered bacteria and fungi thrive in Martian caves, contributing to soil formation and nutrient cycling. These subterranean ecosystems, unseen by the inhabitants of New Olympus, play a vital role in preparing the Martian environment for future expansion. The success of sustainable ecosystems brings a new level of independence to New Olympus. The once reliance on Earth for essential supplies diminishes as the colonizers embrace the interconnected 
web of life they have cultivated on Mars. The city becomes a harmonious blend of human innovation and natural adaptation. As the crew reflects on the journey, they acknowledge the challenges overcome and the triumphs achieved. Sustainable ecosystems on Mars are not just a symbolic achievement but a practical necessity for the continued growth of the colony. The pioneers, now stewards of a new world, prepare for the next era of their Martian odyssey, where the balance between human civilization and the evolving ecosystems becomes the foundation for a truly habitable Mars.